Do you introduce me or anything? No, I'm going to play it for you. You step into the center like this. You're really tough. Okay. Okay. okay, everybody, take your seats. This is a live show. If you have your phones on, just want you to know that things can explode, kind of. So just be careful. You got to turn your phone off like a plane. We could go down. Why do you say? Say it out loud. Yeah. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Kalinich. Called the Healer's Prayer. Divine love, guide my fingers and my hands with your healing touch. Let me use my mind and all my abilities to alleviate suffering. Let it be my joy, not my task, to lift the oppression of sickness. Let me gracefully strive to diminish pain, to decrease adversity and suffering. Where there is a disease, let me eradicate it. Where there is illness, let me relieve it. Let me tenderly nourish all who come to me for help. Enable me in some way to meet their human need. Stevie Kalinich. <laughs> The jack o lantern knows my name He can beat me at my game Cause he has seen it all before From underneath the sycamore He knows there's nothing up my sleeve But the smell of burning leaves your tears out in the rain It's Halloween again We'll make our costumes out of rags And our masks with grocery bags Wash our shoes with cherry wine Clean our hands with turpentine in our swallowtail coats, we'll find out if this old car flows. Fill our pockets up with rain. It's Halloween again. It's Halloween again. And the ghosts know where you've been. Come and see what I have seen. Halloween. Mystic.
Halloween again And the ghosts know where you've been Come and see what I've seen Halloween Thank you very much. Hey, everyone. That was called Halloween. I don't know if you noticed that. Susie Williams is with us tonight. We got some great people here tonight. And I wrote that song several years ago, and I like... I like to do these shows just so I can sing that song, because you really can't do it in summer, you know, or really in, in winter either. It's just it's, it's very seasonal. So how's everyone doing? Cubs are playing right now. Hometown team. They're losing. Okay. Jeff's there to tell me. They're losing. I won. We're used to them losing. Tell me something we're not used to. I think they're gonna, they could just win this one. Where's Earl Gray? Come up here, Earl. Join us, will you please? That's Earl Gray right there. I don't think I play on this one. What's Earl? That's cool. Are we doing hand on the Oh, yeah, sure. Here, I need this. Can I, can I shoot this? Sorry, I got so confused. That's Earl Gray right there. Another reason I do these shows is because I like to play with some of my favorite musicians in the world, and they, they come to this. And so there's Paula McMath right there is singing. Earl Gray. The amazing Neil Rosengarten right there is going to play several different instruments. A lot of musicians, they play one instrument. Not Neil, he plays many, sometimes at the same time. And that's the wonderful Lisa Mystic. From the so this is called Dandelion. You guys ready to play this? We should start with a little of you in A minor.
fly downtown with your silver tone crown and your Panama hat. Dreaming of the palace of Versailles when your world is a laundromat. Sixteen tons in your rhododendron garden of your vanity. Going down, down, down to the bottom of the boundless sea. Singing shine, shine, and dandelion with your heart of gold. Looking for somewhere that's warm in a world so old and Every day is a tightrope walk along the razor wire. Shine, shine, dandelion like the night, like the night on fire, fire, fire. Come on and light the night on fire. He testifies like John the Revelator in the Texas heat. Looking for a dude he can trust in the dust of old Willow Street. Everywhere is gone but the fingertips of dawn on St. Lucy's lips. Going down, 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 down to the shipwreck ship. Singing shine, shine, dance the light with your heart of Looking for somewhere that's warm in a world, in a world so old and every day is a tightrope walk along a razor wire. Shine, shine, dance the light, light the night on fire, 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 light the night on fire. And relax and fax your resume to the Institute of Destitution and Decay. And when every beacon of hope gets busted and blown away, that's when we turn to things eternal. That God won't ever throw away, 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 away in a box on a rainy day. Early G. Beaumont, Texas, house of prayer down New Orleans Street. Young as bed and right asleep through July and the August heat. Sixteen candles are burning up the shadow of a skeleton key. And when the house burned down, he lived in the ruins for eternity. Singing shine, shine, stand alive with your heart of gold. Looking for somewhere that's warm in a world so old and cold. A world so old. Every day is a tightrope, walk along a razor wire. Shine, shine, stand alive. Light the night on fire, fire, fire. Come on and 
and light the night on fire. Come on and light the night on fire. On fire. On fire. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> you don't you like that one? No, I don't. You, yeah. want you know, we're trying to get along here. Who brought this guy? Is this a friend of yours, this guy? Hey, well, I'm glad you're here with us tonight. <laughs> We're going to do another song. Maybe you'll like this next one better. Will you give us another chance? We'll try to keep the audience happy. Sometimes this happens, you know. Well, we're going to do a rock and roll song for you. Now, do you like rock and roll? He's not listening. To this is a brand new song. This is called Crazy But You. Crazy But True. This is a song about what's kind of going on in the world that it's kind of crazy, but it's true. You know, we'll watch these things on YouTube years from now. Right now, it's before the election. Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton are still running for president together, so. It's a crazy time, crazy but true. So that's what this is called. It's called Crazy But True. Yeah, it's rock and roll, Ian. Okay. Okay, all right. Ready? Neil, you ready? Learning how to swim under the water Falling in love with destiny's daughter It's true Crazy but true I fell in love with you It's crazy but true Talking to my big bondsman and my barber About all the love one man can harbor for you Safe harbor for you I fell in love with you It's crazy but true Crazy but true in this lunatic circus Where the underpants overwork us Crazy for you in these crazy times Crazy just to write you my crazy rhyme Going downtown where the moon is orange Hanging my shirt on the back of a door hinge that's blue Door hinge that's blue I fell in love with you It's crazy but true Let's hear it, Lisa. Early G. Crazy for some divine intervention Crazy for your calm in the hurricane Crazy just to ride on your crazy train Shot over the sea like a bottle rocket Skeleton key in every pocket for you I will unlock it for you I fell in love with you Crazy but true It's crazy but true I fell in love with you I fell in love with you I fell in 
love with you I fell in love with you Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did, did you like that one? No, no, it's, it's okay. Everyone's welcome here. I forget. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's okay. He's with me. No, no worries. I got him covered. We got security here. <laughs> I recognize you. That's Seymour Kvetch. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna do a song by my friend P. F. Sloan. Might be a friend of yours too. People are already gone. We find in music it's important. Everyone plays in the same key. It works better. Okay, let's try it again. Start over. I tried. Neil. Yes. Hit it, baby. <laughs> There's a man who leads a life of danger To everyone he meets he stays a stranger And with every move he makes Another chance he takes Odds are he won't live to see tomorrow Secret Agent Man Secret Agent Man They've given you a number But they've taken away your name You wear a pretty face as you might find Don't give yourself away Ah, darling, you won't live to see tomorrow Secret Agent Man Secret Agent Man They've given you a number But they take it away On the Riviera one day And dying in a Bombay alley the next day Don't let the wrong words slip While kissing persuasive lips Odds are you won't live to see tomorrow
Thank you. P.F. Sloan wrote that. Our friend. P.F. Sloan. And we got Stevie Kalinich here, one of, one of P.F. Sloan's best friends. And there's that line in there about dying in a Bombay alley. And Stevie and... We got lost in there. They went to India together, Stevie Kalinich. Wow. That's cool. I never went to India with Phil, but we once went to Reseda together. That was a good day. do a couple new songs now. We got a lot of special guests here. Jeff Gold is here. And April Hava Shankman is going to do something special. It's warm. It's not staying in tune. Part of playing guitar is you guys might know you have to tune all six strings. Oh, yeah. yeah. You miss just one. It, it wrecks up everything. Really. I just want to say because of the creepy clown thing going on with clowns, you know, people are already scared of clowns. Now people are dressing up as clowns and hurting people. And so we have a complete clown band tonight. No one, no clowns were allowed to come in clown makeup tonight. Well, if you see any clowns, let me know. So I grew up in Illinois. There are many years before I ever left Illinois. I never met anyone outside Illinois for years. Now it's amazing on Facebook. You can just talk to people in Italy every morning if you want to or in Nepal. Back then, if you wanted to do that, you had to have ham radio with those giant antennas, which one of my friend's fathers had. Remember this? But I went to a camp in the North Woods, and there were boys there from outside of Illinois. They were from Cincinnati, which to me was about as exotic as anywhere I'd ever heard of, because it was outside of Illinois. And the only thing that meant, mattered to these guys when they talk about Cincinnati wasn't the Reds. It wasn't their parents. It was chili. It was all about chili in Cincinnati. Skyline chili, chili dogs. This is a song about Ohio. It's called Ohio. She was the apple of her mother's eye. So her mother always told her. Every day under the southern sky. Till the sandman would blindfold her. Hold her down to the boxcar. Down to the world to know down to the city of her birth on the southern edge of Ohio. Oh, 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 was fun. <laughs> Carnival come into town, full moon, orange as a tangerine. Nobody knew what was going down in the woods behind the Dairy Queen. Down to the green, green Katie did, down to the rowboat in to go down to the secrets he kept it when he was a kid in Ohio oh 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 She 
Is it Buffalo Stampede? Maybe it's a railroad train Blowing west like a mustard seed Rolling through the Cincinnati rain Down at the green, down to the chop Down to these plains of ice and snow Down to a faded photograph of a little girl Thank you. So did you like that one? What'd you think? Better? Yeah. People don't realize this is a member of my own family. It's my uncle Chickster right there. Thank you. Chickster likes my music pretty much like everyone in my family. Actually, he's one of my biggest fans in the family. Some of the others are more loud critics, actually. We don't need you yet, Earl. Sorry. Uh, I mean, we do need you, but uh, I've insulted my good buddy. You'll come in back. This is a new one, too. This is called uh, Absolutely Sweet Marie, which really bothered me. I just wrote this song called Absolutely Sweet Marie, and then I found out Bob Dylan, years ago, wrote a song with the same title. I don't know how that happened. But no one could find them anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to do mine. So it's called Absolutely Sweet Marie. Neil on drums. <laughs> she plays with paisley strangers who don't know her name. They don't know the dangers of a gabardine game. She fetters them with fabric she finds in Duluth. Her yesterday's lies sound better than the truth. She tethers her targets with tartan and wool. Feathers from finches fell into a She flusters them with fur till they feel like fools. She minimizes magpies into molecules. She means more than the world to me Ten times more than infinity I embrace her mystery Absolutely sweet Marie Absolutely sweet Marie To be a student, an ingenue. She studied tectonics and the Talmud too. The astrophysm was a cheap delight, and the Kabbalah was cool on a summer night. She dressed a professor up in lavender weeds, rose prints, suit, daisy chain sleeve, finagled his fancy with flair and pernip. She always carried scissors in her paper dress And she means more than the world to me Ten times more than infinity I embrace her mystery Absolutely sweet Marie Absolutely sweet Marie The mediocre and the misconstrued Frivolous flux, the multitude Cretinous creeps, 
who come on to crude insalubrious snakes who have to be subdued. She lavishes lipstick on Rubik's Cube. Fondles her feathers like the lopian She tangles with tyrants who taxi their trap. She dances with dibbits in the dishwater duck. She means more than the world to me. Ten times more than infinity. I embrace her mystery. Absolutely, sweet Marie. Absolutely, sweet Marie. Ten times more than infinity, more absolutely, sweet Marie, Marie. Let me, let me ask you a question, man. I, you, you don't like this kind of music? What, what kind of music do you like? I like all kinds of music. You don't seem to like this it. kind of music. No, I like, I like Example. Music. Come Sound of music. Walk right up. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah? Yeah. Nice to see you, Zolo. Yeah, yeah. So, so great to is have you. Is this an here. audience or an oil painting? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this? Why don't you what tell? What kind of music do you think is good? You, you got like a kind of music well, you enjoy? Let me, let me show you, Zolo. I... I've been around for about six weeks, and I, I like to. Uh, got something in his pocket. Everyone's I, I got oh, okay. aspirin here. And someone reaches into his me pocket. A headache. No, but seriously, okay. yeah, yeah. I like this kind of music. That's the type of music I like. That's what I say. All right, Uncle Chickster, ladies and gentlemen. That was beautiful. I expected something totally different. I didn't really think that was going to come. Like this so, uh, Earl, come on up here. It's great when my family comes to my gigs. I love that. Wow. We're We're very vaudeville, man. <laughs> He's my friend. People are getting worried about chicks are here. It's okay. <laughs> We're going to do a new song, too, and this is another new one. This is a called uh, Defending You. This is about when you want to stop defending people in your life. It's my first song so far. I'm pretty proud of it that successfully has the word anti-Semitic in it, which isn't easy to just slip in, you know? You have to, you have to work to get it in there. I think it works. Because it comes from the heart. Shot a guy down in the subway station, lying to my face. I once choked the chupacabra dead for refusing to say grace. I once defenestrated two sumo wrestlers for looking twice at you. You might say I'm crazy, you might call me a liar. But I swear to God, it's true. Let us review our ancient history. Through and through, my aim was true. Now I'm defending you. Now I'm.
defending you. I once negotiated with seven bail bonds acting on your behalf. Maybe I told her maybe more than I should have told her. They all began to laugh. I begged to differ, I said different as I could differ underneath bamboo. You might say I'm crazy, you might call me a liar, but I swear to God it's true. So let us review our ancient history through and through my aim was true now i'm defending you now i I eliminated seven schizophrenic children living inside your head. Battled with the anti-Semitic ghosts of my ancestors who all wanted me dead. I tried to penetrate the barricades that still surround the world you think is true. I can defend you from all the other children but I can't defend you from you. Let us review our ancient history. Through and through, my aim was true. Now I'm defending you. Now I'm That's a happy one. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me while I slip right. my wrist. <laughs> email. Oh, I wanted to tell you people watching at home. Where, where's the email thing where, where it says the email address? No, where's the address itself? It's usually back here, right? Where, yeah, but we're, we're okay. In Oklahoma, we got an Okie. Hi, Maria. Hey. I know her. It's Kulak's webcast at yahoo.com. It used to be up there somewhere, didn't it? Right here. Right there. Right there. Oh, there it is. There it is. That's important because if you're watching at home and you don't email me, and I won't believe you watch. <laughs> Hi, Michelle. Louisiana. And Michelle wrote, Hi, Paul. I am enjoying the webcast. Hello to all my friends. It's great to see y'all. Not you all. She wrote y'all. Yeah. Love Michelle because she's in Louisiana. And thank you, Michelle. She told me her husband, if I want to go to sleep early, he won't let her watch the show. And I said, Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is from 
Amy Linton in Atlanta. Yay. All right. Atlanta, which is in Georgia, I think. <laughs> happy <laughs> Amy Linton. Happy holiday to everyone. Love your colorful jackets. Everyone sounds good. Yeah. Yeah. Yay. Yay. Amy, Linton. Cool. Amy, by the way, edited a, a beautiful movie called, also known as Doc Palmer. It's about the great Doc Palmer. Oh, that's a Love great her. film. She's one of the oh, great yeah. editors. So this is from Tom Bowden, my good buddy in Dallas, Texas. Tom used to live in L.A., and for some reason, he left. I'm so Hi. upset about that. It says, Tom Bowden, howdy. Have a good show. I'm watching. Tom. All right. Yeah. All right. That's all we need to know. <laughs> you could write something witty, too. It's not necessary. You can just say that, you know. This is Earl Grey here. Hello. <laughs> I just want to say all of my friends that wrote in, Amy, nice Michelle, things. thank you for writing in, not only watching, but writing in. We have some friends in the UK tonight who stayed up till 4 a.m. to watch this. and uh, Unless they fell asleep. I'm not seeing any sign of them. There uh, Brian uh, Hutton. Brian Hutton tried to, I think he must have had the wrong address or something. He was drinking Straight wine up. hours yeah, ago, so he's, he's probably long gone. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm not sure that, I think that was an excuse. Okay. So. Well, we're going to do a song. We wrote one song together, only one. But it's a good one. It's the first of the many. The first of many. Actually. That's right. you got to start somewhere. We're just slow workers, you know? It's called uh, My Waterloo. My Waterloo. It's kind of uh, using Napoleon as a, a metaphor. I mean, uh, it's about time someone did that again. I think we're the only uh, guys other than ABBA that has a song that yeah. James has Stanley's the word Waterloo. Us tonight. There I just saw there. that. Some great people wow. come here. Wow. That's very cool. Yeah. James Lee Stanley. No, it's okay. You can go talk to him. <laughs> Okay, so let's do this. This is called My Waterloo. And this is Earl Grey. In the ruins of cathedrals I can hear the broken quiet sing. I come with invading armies to become your once and only king. Here under infinite sun, here where two kingdoms are one again. All along the infantries of horses and battalions charging slow. I come, sorry, yeah, all along the infantries of horses and battalions riding slow, conquering these godforsaken wastelands where nobody wants to go. Here in a world once so wild, here on this island, exiled again. If I knew all of you, Under Hollywood to get my Stratocaster out of hock. I crumble in the pawn shop in between the earthquake and the rock. Hanging my crown in the street as I go down in defeat again.
I still hear your choir singing while the cannonballs are being heard. I still hear the church bells ringing when I'm busy conquering the world. Thank you, Turtle Gray. <laughs> Can do one? Sure. And we'll, we'll get the we'll get the little details fixed up on yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, we're getting there. Earl's That's the gonna first sing a song. We've for ever us, done that in front of people. It's got a million words, man. But they're they're so good, you know. Paul wrote the lyrics, man. Be risky. I haven't played this in a while, but uh, I have a song called The Flying Boy. When he was very young, it climbed the roof, the highest key, the farthest wall, trailing kingdoms of cloud. It's full of sand He's falling like a balloon Down to the woman below She hears a blank gun start She's running like a gazelle To leave a hole in his heart
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Paul. It's early G. <laughs> All, right. All right. What's next? What's you now? Now Paul is going to come up next. Cool, yeah, yeah. man. I think, do we need to plug? You got a plug to plug in? Yeah, let's put your plug out of there. Or, or. You want to use mine? Sure, let's just go in through a preamp, but. I'm giving this one, okay? You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, coming up next. That was Earl Grey. You might have noticed that. You know, Earl, besides being a great songwriter, harmony singer, he's a MUFON investigator. He's the guy that if people see aliens or get abducted, he goes and talks to them. Yeah, yeah. That's the guy that'll show up if that happens to you. Would that be fun? And this is Paula McMath here. Came all the way from Canada. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, that's for a whole other show. And that would be a frightening show, I think, actually. But Earl's taught me a lot of stuff, and I'm very scared now about it all. But <laughs> it's terrifying. But okay, all, all right, we're here again. Okay, so I'm very happy. Everyone in my band, I, you know, writes songs. They're all great musicians and songwriters. And I uh, mostly just want to do my songs, because those are my favorite, of course. But I thought it would be nice to let them do some of their songs. So I'm very happy. Paula tonight is going to do one of her songs. So this is Paula McMath. <laughs> I am so, thank you, Paul, for giving me a, a few minutes here to play a song. Um, this is a really new one. Uh, idea came to me a few years ago, but it's been brewing, and it finally came to fruition a little while ago. I was thinking about, I, I suppose in a way, if this fits in, because it's a bit of a ghost story, I was thinking about the musicians on the deck of the Titanic, who were, you know, from the lifeboats, it's very famous that they could be heard playing on the deck even though the ship was sinking and I thought wow what a what a moment you know so I thought I would try to write a song about that and it took me a while but let's see how it's turning out and uh, maybe it's a work in progress I don't know <laughs> here we go Pack up my fiddle and spit shine my shoes to get to a gig on an ocean cruise. There are holes in my socks, but you'll never know. Cause I work so hard not to let it show. I work so hard not to let it show. I play the strings and I play them well. From my hands to your ears, I cast my spell. You listen and dance, but you'll never hear all the hours and hours and years and years, the hours and hours and years and years. I play for my supper, for my room and board. I play and I play till my fingers are sore. Now I know I'm a servant, not much more. But I never noticed before. I never noticed before. In the middle of the night, we hit the ice. Just like it happens in the middle of life. 
Though we scream and we cry, our voices are soft. And most of us on her will never get off. Most of us here will never get off. So the salt in the sweat on the backs of the poor will be mingled with mine on the ocean floor where the coal was stoked and her belly was torn and where no music plays anymore where no music will play Ladle, I can't play no more But I ask myself as the great ship goes down Who am I playing this for? Who am I playing this for? Who am I playing this Thank you. But ultimately led to a Nobel Literature Prize, so I, I guess that works. This is a song. Uh, Paul, are you going to sing this one with me? Come back. Yeah, Paul is going to sing. Yeah. This is a song I wrote with Daryl Purpose that's on Daryl's new album, which is called Still the Birds. And uh, this one is called The Meaning of My, My Love. It was kind of written at first about this country singer I dated long ago who... I told her I was from Chicago, and she said, yeah, Chicago, I know that. That's East Coast, right? <laughs> and I said, no, actually, it's in, the, it's in the Midwest, we call it. It's kind of in the middle. And she argued with me. She said, no, pretty sure it's on the East Coast. <laughs> I said, look, we grew up with maps, you know, and, we, and there's a giant lake right there. So this was kind of inspired by that. There's a line about uh, the only coast she knows is west, and she never fell far from the nest. Well, Daryl thought some of it was kind of mean-spirited, this song. He wasn't sure he wanted to do it. And he's right, it is kind of mean-spirited. It's a reverse love song. So they got, uh, he decided to do it as a duet with Eliza Gilkison. Uh, Billy Crockett at Blue Rock Studio in, uh, in Wimberley, Texas produced it, and they got uh, Eliza Gilkison to come in and do the duet, and she sang all the real mean lines, so it worked out pretty good. But I'm going to sing it all myself. <laughs> Paul is going to join me. Forgets such simple things The cowboy boots An angel wears The trellis where my memory sings But I love her so She's so deep inside the mire Wrapped up in foil And chicken wire She's got to be the world's worst liar But I love her so But I love her so And better angels fly above The human things we're all made of Honey, don't you know Thank you. 
The sky is black, the grass is brown. She stands me up when I am down and leaves me cold in this cartoon town. But I love her so. There's nothing ventured, nothing gained. There's nothing broken, only spread. She's sketchy and so scatterbrained. But I love her so. But I love her so. And she is she She's sweet and sour Like lemonade Her mercury is too retrograde And I love her so She never fell far from the nest The only coast she knows is where she is shallow and so self-obsessed but I love her so but I love her so and better angels fly above the human things we're all made of honey don't you know Don't you know anything about the meaning, anything about the meaning, anything about the meaning of my love, my love, my love. Thank you, Paula McMath, right there. Paul Zolo. Yeah. All right. Let's bring Neil here. Yeah? You got something to say? Special announcement. Siblings. Siblings. Okay. Hi, everybody. My name is Greg. I'm one of the camera operators here. Uh, this is not an average venue. Uh, this is actually a live recording studio. Think of it like TV, Hello, it's a, but it's on the web. Uh, we ask that you do not walk around during the song for any reason at all. Even if you have to use bathroom, just wait until there's a break. <laughs> the song, bathroom, it'll Unless it's a real emergency. And then, um... uh, I, I'm not pointing fingers at any. I think he is, actually. Uh, I'm just asking. <laughs> okay, we got the point. Yes, okay, thank you. Beautifully done. But if you want to dance, that's allowed. Okay. Thank you. 
We're going to do a song that I wrote with Neil. Now, me and Neil have been writing some songs, which has been great, because uh, he knows a lot of chords. He knows all the adult chords. You know, I've been I've just been using the kindergarten chords for years, and it's time to graduate, so I'm working with Neil. So this is called Mockingbird Motel. Oh. Hey, is uh, Lisa here? Yeah. This actually started a long time ago as a song called Aloha Motel, and it took place in Florida. But it changed. Now it's the Mockingbird Motel. And it's my only song that has winter and summer imagery in the same verses, which is actually, I think, illegal. You could go to songwriting, you know, jail for that, you know. You know but I'm willing to take a chance. All right, are we ready here? Huh? Ready? Yes. Remember you at the Mockingbird Motel, swimming in the swimming pool where all the angels fell, sweeter than a Georgia peach on silver roller skates, skating like an angel. Right up to the pearly gate Now everything is turning blue But I can't unring your bell And I'll always remember you At the Mockingbird Motel All the bail bonds men are doing funny back. All the skaters skate along frozen path. All the pools we crashed and swam all summer long. And everything you are, I am. In every old love song Now everything is turning blue But I can't unring your bell And I'll always remember you At the Mockingbird Motel Now everything is turning blue but I can't unring your bell And I'll always remember you At the Mockingbird Motel I'll always remember you At the Mockingbird Motel Thank you. Neil wrote that. We wrote, we wrote a couple other songs. We wrote a song about Richard Nixon, which pretty much every songwriter does at some point. You write about the Civil War, and you write about trucks, and you write about Nixon, <laughs> right? And this one, you know, Nixon, it, it, two of his brothers died when he was still a kid, so he carried around a lot of guilt even before he became a crook. No, we don't need you yet. So uh, his mother gave him roller skates and taught him how to keep skating forward. So this is called Richard Nixon's Roller skates. I'm going to get out of the way. For Tiny house adjoining your Belinda Lemon Grove. A piano in the living room, old clock over the stove. Upstairs in his brother's room among the old orange crates. Waiting for the spring to come, his silver roller skates. And the sun, it never really sets on these United States. 
and nobody ever forgets Richard Nixon's roller skates. Richard Nixon's roller skates. Richard Nixon's roller skates. His mother taught him how to skate when he was seven years. Taught him how to glide and spin and how to hide the tears. Taught him to be bright and brave after two brothers died to stay forever stalwart and to skate on the sunny side and the sun it never really sets on these united states and nobody ever forgets richard nixon's roller skates richard nixon's roller skates Richard Nixon's roller skates. Richard Nixon's roller skates. Richard Nixon's roller skates. On the original recording, there were three trumpets. Uh, but I showed her the music the other day, and she went and learned it. Amazing. She played it on violin yesterday, and she said, but people will think I don't know what I'm doing on violin. I can't do that. I said, we can make an announcement first that, you know, it was the dementia setting in in Nixon's brain, I think. Well, come on up here. Jeff Gold is going to come up and do a song for us. What a nice guitar. Yeah. He also has a store called West Valley Music for all your music needs. You don't have to go to Guitar Center anymore. There's a real music store in the West Valley. Run by musicians. So, yeah. So please welcome Mr. Jeff Gold. Check. This song is for my daughter sitting there in the front row. <laughs> I know she was tired, but she came out anyway. And hey, little girl, I know you've got troubles. 
Troubles that seem too big for your size But the rain brings the rainbows you love so deeply And I will hold you so close to my side You'll be happy, you'll be blue, and I'll be there right next to you. And one day you'll walk in white to the altar. On that day we both will cry. You for love and me for changing And I will hold you so close to my side mm -hmm. So hey little girl, I will hold you Close as I can while you cry Tears that stain my shirt forever but I will hold you so close to my side mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thanks, that's Melanie's song Melanie's song? It is. Is that your daughter's name? That's her name I think Melanie's here today, isn't she? She is Pretty sweet. You have two two daughters. You write a song for each daughter. I did. You must have. Uh, yeah. I guess that's a good idea. <laughs> I'll be Mary. We're gonna do a song that we wrote together, Jeff and I. And this song is called Adonai. What? Is that a Jewish word? And this brings up a problem I've been having, that when you speak to Tex, when you talk to Siri, she doesn't seem to know any Jewish words. I, I gave her the word Michigas, which means, you know, a big, big Michigas is a lot of trouble. And she wrote Michigan ass, which is so different. And then I mentioned Adonai today, and she wrote, I don't know. Uh, I don't know for Adonai. And then... Uh, I was looking up George Draculius, who's a famous uh, producer, and it gave me Dracula Yes. That's not good either, so. Yeah. You think that teach her some Yiddish, you know? How hard is that? So this is called Adonai, which actually means the Lord. This is from a prayer, and Jeff and I wrote this about uh, our shared heritage. And uh, Eric is here, who did a beautiful video of this uh, about uh, Jews coming here from Eastern Europe, which is what we're all about. Go on YouTube and look at it. It's really nice. This is called Adonai. My name's Zolo. Uh, it's obviously, it's an Italian name. We came from, we always said the east part of Italy, Poland. But our real name was Zlotnik, which if you translate it, is Goldsmith or Goldman. And that's your name. So we're probably related, but uh, my ancestors didn't want anyone to know. You know, they were hiding it even more. Which, uh, Probably wise. Okay, so we're gonna do Adonai. Right. Oh yeah, we do it this in this key. I don't know I am alone, 
lay alone for when the Lord shall reign for a long time. I don't know I am alone, lay alone for when the Lord shall reign. Carved out a line on the Lower East Sand Where the Jews of Europe came To the tenement halls Fish market stalls They changed the family name And his fingertips bled On the needle and thread in the sweatshop factory And God gave him a wife The love of his life They grew our family tree I don't know I am alone Lay alone where The Lord shall reign for all time I don't know I am alone, lay alone, oh yeah, the Lord shall reign for all Thank you. That's Jeff Thank Gould. You. Lisa Mystic. Thank you. Can I unplug? We're going to hear another song from the man at the keys right there, Mr. Neil Rosengarten. This is called uh, Nice to Me.
It is no wonder that I love you And I love you Cause you've really been nice to me Wanna be under and above you And I love you Cause you've really been nice to me I don't need your undivided attention I just want you to be in the room How can I deny it when my blues I lose You are the one for me forever Leave me never And I'll always be here to see It is no wonder that I love you And I love you Cause you've really been nice to me You are the one for me forever Leave me never, and I'll always be here to see. It is no wonder that I love you. And I love you, because you've really been nice to me. Nice to me. You've really been nice to me. the maestro right there, Mr. Neil Rosengarten. Yeah. All right. At this point, I'm very... Oh, do we, wait, do we have the music ready? Is it ready? Yeah. Okay. Well, I did want to at this point, so... Where is it? Oh, there they are. I would like at this at this time to award this mermaid. We're, we're giving prizes for for costumes, and even if you didn't wear a costume, you still wear a, a can still win a prize. But uh, this mermaid goes to Susie Williams here. Yeah. 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 Her I believe that's Serena. She got a mermaid. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> you can give a speech if you want. You want to thank anyone? <laughs> Susie Williams. <laughs> All right. That was, that was good. I knew we, we had a reason to have a mermaid here. <laughs> now I'm very excited that my, my cousin April is here, and she's going to, uh, as you guys might have noticed, there's a campaign going on. There's an election going to happen very soon, and it's frightening, and uh, we need artists to help us through this. So I asked my, my cousin April to come here, and please welcome April Hava Shankman. Flags, flags, <laughs> flags. Nimon
pig. <laughs> I have a pig, of 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 a pig. Why never say anything like my pig, my pig, my pig, my very own pig. His name is Trump, he's rich and plump, he should have the country to pump up rump. My swine is fine, he runs in time, he never misses an opportunity to make a golden dime. Faithful fortune daily double out tank, penny after petty jeffy in my pig bank. Belly voice just been bopped down, triple crown, salvy silky, mud's like brown. Pride power and popular choices, that's the photo finishes when I rip rejoice. Zeal is real, unbelievable, steal the winner's circle, I have a supple chair, put a resin line neatly. My cup, the winner's cup, the longest crown, pink tails, golden eggs, well. Blue makes golden, gold is blue, this pork or mine might be better, mincy stew. Ooh ooh. I have a cock of 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 a cock. Why, I've never seen anything like my cock, my cock, my cock, my very own cock. Her name is Hill, her husband's Bill. She's in this race for the final kill. Victoria's pedigree often clucking. As an opportunist, she'll skip the plucking. She'll hit the slops, the ha-ha tops. My heart goes bock, my cock goes bock, and a bock, and a bock, bock, bock. Hey, 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 watch your bock. If you ask me, this election's a bit bock. Shit, shy, difference between the two. They say I'm lucky for always seeing blue. The bride he knew, I pray blue. Blue gold, 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 blue gold. Politicians who have understood a word. Ha, 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 ha. This piggly, wiggly, cocky, talky, and mine can ever, 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 ever be sold, but our picture can. I'll bloom them silly. The presses will travel all the way to Philly. The throws of parade will be a sideshow brigade. Well, about the win now, there's no sin. Win, 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 win. Pig cock, pig cock. Win, 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 win. Pig cock, pig cock. Come on, Trump, don't be a lump. Now's not the time to take a dump. Come on, Hill, don't stand still. You're no good at acting chill. This little piggy went to the market. This little cocky stayed home. This little piggy had roast beef. And this little cocky had schmaltz. After all, her son in law's a Jew. Bernie Sanders, regretfully, I do. April, Hava Shankman, right there, April. Yeah. Hey, April, I need your help. That was April, from the amazing Shankman family. You might have recognized my, my uncle Chickster might re resemble her a little bit. They're from the same family. So th thank you, that was beautiful. We're now gonna pass this around. And uh, we're asking you to donate to keep this place alive. So we're not charging at the door, but if you could just reach into your uh, wallets or wherever you keep money and donate, that would be helpful to keep our doors open here. Because uh, Paul Kulak has been keeping this place alive for a long time. Not only this live venue, but a live webcast that goes all over the world all the time. It's kind of remarkable. When my son was little, I used to have him carry that around. And who's going to not you know, donate to a little cute kid? But I thought after that, that would be pretty effective, too. So, Ben, you kind of come back up here. What? Yeah. She's too big. <laughs> that was fantastic. Too much of great I want to say this show is also dedicated to my good friend D. Whitney Quinn. That's Whitney Quinn right there. One of the great songwriters of our, of our community. And uh, he took off. He's not, uh, he's not here anymore, but he used to be here a lot. A lot of my videos, Whitney's sitting there. I miss him. A great songwriter. And uh, he finished a great, song, a great album that hasn't come out yet. And uh, Love Wit. So uh, c come up here, uh, Earl. Why don't you come up here and play some more songs? We're going to do a few more songs. And, uh... We said our friend was watching in the UK, Brian Hutton, who requested this song. This is a song about Dylan Thomas. I wrote this with Daryl Purpose. It's the opening song on his new album. Neil here? Okay, there. And Paula? You guys going to share that bit, that mic? So this song is called Prince of the Apple Towns. Brian Hutton in the UK requested the Dylan Thomas song.
And I want to thank April for that. Can we get arrested for putting flags on the floor? We can all go to prison for this. this dangerous art. I think we have to burn them now. Isn't that the law? <laughs> I think that is the law. I'm pretty sure. Isn't it? Okay. Ready? Songs of saints and martyrs and swans in a Kremlin bar. He's been alive a thousand years with eyes of sea and fog. Down the green and golden pathway among horses and cows. He's a huntsman and a herdsman under the apple bough. In our songs of salt and barley, in our temporary crowns, in the sun that's young was only Prince of the Apple Towns, Prince of the Apple Towns. Famous among the foxes. With songs carved out of soap Where the children of the harvest And spellbound horses low And in the shadows of the mumbles He ran his heedless way In his cups forever humble On the fields of praise in our songs of salt and barley, in our temporary crown, in the sun that's young once only, Prince of the Apple Town, Prince of the Apple Town. And in a song of New York City, in the winter wind fall light. At the old white horse tavern, he sang the sun in flight. A boy as mad as birds after the birth of simple life. In his cups, and all alone into that good night. Where his heart is still a bird's nest In a three-piece suit of space And the moon is always rising Over hummingbird parades And Swansea bells keep ringing, ringing Unbound by gravity in his chains Forever singing like the sea In our songs of salt and barley, in our temporary crown, in the sun that's a young one's only, Prince of the Apple Town, Prince of the Apple Town. In our songs of salt and barley, in our temporary crown, in the sun. Young ones only, Prince of the Apple Town, Prince of the Apple Town. He was the Prince of the Apple Town, Prince of the Apple Town. Thank you. We're going to bring the great Stevie Kalinich back up here. Are you ready, Stevie? We're going to do this. Stevie has written many beautiful poems, some of my favorite poems. And he recites them beautifully. But this one, uh, at, the, at the funeral of our friend P.F. Sloan, he did this, uh, this poem. And uh, 
It got me then, and it always got. It's called If You Knew. Paul, I understand you better now that I've met some of your family. And <laughs> I just, I've never been to this place, and I love it. I love the energy, and it's a lot of fun. And our, our dear friend, what? Uh, I wanted it low enough that, will, will you still be able to hear it? Otherwise, I can't see. I can't see anyway. Um, anyway, we dedicate, P.F. Sloan put a melody to this that's on a new album. But this is going to be a spoken version that Paul helped me with. If you knew. If you knew that death was a thought, would you let it dissolve and live forever? If you knew that what was real in life could not be bought, would you strive so hard for empty gold? If you knew that love was giving, would you stand in line waiting? If you knew that love was all, would you spend your time hating? If you knew that all hearts were one heart, would you look outside yourself for God, for life, for love? If you knew that every moment was now, would you worry about yesterday or tomorrow? If you knew that listening was with the inner ear and to your heart, would you pay so much attention to idle words? If you knew that love was a leader, would you follow ways of guilt and fright? If you knew that prejudice was a seed, would you plant it in your garden? If you knew that beyond every laughter there could be tears and beyond the tears could be laughter. If you knew that wars could never be one, would you cease your fighting? If you knew that your mind was a garden, would you be careful with the tools you use? Would you pull the weeds of lack and discontent and plant seeds of love and fullness? Would you take the hoe of faith and form a resolution that to every problem or trouble there could, not necessarily would, but could be a hopeful solution? If you knew that love was every man, that when the breath of love poured itself into others, it did not forget you. If you knew that love was God, when it was all colors, would you notice if a man were bl black or white or yellow? If you knew that every mist or cloud will soon dissolve, that love sees through all and breaks down walls and melts on reality and forms a new being in the heart if you knew that through your eyes, love sees all and is also the eyes of others. If you knew that love was the air you breathe, would you fill it with poisonous gas? Would you cut down beauty with deadly fumes? If you knew that you were in love, that love's voice speaks through you and every woman and man. If you knew that the words love and God are the same. If you knew that God's mind and love's mind is all minds, could you ever see yourself as separate from yourself and from each other? If you knew that God's is love's blood and that runs through every bloodstream, gives energy to every cell of every man. If you knew that the blood that runs freshly out of dead soldiers laying on the ground is love's blood. Would you shed it so easily? Would you kill your fellow man? If you knew that none stand in your way in life, 
accept yourself? Would you go toward the mark? Could you know that you are timeless, that you are a celebration, a meeting place of events past and future in this present? If you knew the flowers that grow toward the sun are your brothers and sisters, that your soul had wings, that you rode on a great golden chariot, if you knew that when you see in your mind's eye a transparent man or woman that has a glowing, loud, a glowing light around himself, would you know, would you know that that man, that that woman, that that child is you? If you know. Thank you. I love this place. That was beautiful. <laughs> the great Stevie Kalinich. Thank you, Stephen, for yeah. coming here. Just a couple weeks ago, he was in a show for, uh, they did a birthday for Desmond Tutu with uh, Stevie was there and Donovan and Steve Vai and Quincy Jones. And Stevie's one of these great people to take photos with because anyone that sees him lights up and looks really happy. And, uh, so you can get a good photo that way. So come back up here, Ben. We're going to do just a couple more. Stevie's, uh, come on. Come on up here. Yeah, let's play some more music. We're going to do a few more. And I want to thank all you people for being here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, well let's do one for it, and then we'll do that. Okay? Um, just singing. We're going to do one angels. Song. Okay. Let's do angels. This is another one I wrote with Neil. This is called When Angels Talk. Marching through the mud into another fire. The sirens scream and the big lights are flashing in the streets forever crashing among the wreckage and decay from Van Nuys down to Sherman Way Occasionally a glimpse of heaven at the flash of eleven eleven Shadow rainbow eyes, lavender on vine, full of smoke and brandy wine, roses blooming and saddle fossils, We're signing up new apostles, and when angels talk, when angels talk. Shut up and listen Winding down Mulholland Drive Just hoping to keep hope alive so I swim to keep from sinking Dream of you instead of thinking Among the chaos and the crime Wise guys working overtime Occasionally a flash of heaven At the crash of eleven Shut up and 
when angels talk shut up and listen does anyone see 11 11 like all the time you know that's an angelic sign anyone 420 Marilyn not 420 that's a stone <laughs> I was pretty well, I see all the time. pretty excited my new credit card I just got the expiration date is 420 really oh that's kind of cool I'm pretty happy about yeah. that yeah. I just kept sending them yeah. back until I got one I liked I mean, I'm not lying. I see that number all the time. I look at the clock. It's yeah, the Lisa, Lisa's going to sing a song now. Whatever happens, happens.
there came familiar laughter. <laughs> I saw your face and heard you call my name. Lisa Mystic from the Wild Mountain yeah. Mystic. Yeah. Yeah. We got just two songs to go. I just want to thank you for being here. We're going to do a song now about uh, Edgar Allan Poe. And I believe there might be a, a Poe in the audience. Do we have any Poes here? It's the only thing better than living poets I find are, are dead poets, and I have a lot of songs about dead poets. This is one. Edgar Allan Poe, as you might know, at the end of his life was wandering around Manhattan searching for his wife, who had died long before. That's a perfect ending to his life. Are you going to join us here? Come up here, you. We got a man to stand in for Poe. Dr. Bradley Bobbs. Bradley Bobbs, right there. Here. Share a little poem with us, will you? <laughs> Once upon a midnight dreary, as I pondered, weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, as I nodded, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping as of someone gently rapping, rapping at my chamber door. Tis some visitor, I muttered, rapping at my chamber door, only this and nothing more. Yeah, Bradley Bob as Poe. Can you tell us what was going on there at the last, at the end of his life there, the last year? Did he ever find his wife? Do you know any insight into that? Did he? Oh, Did you, you mean me? You. you mean me? Yes. Oh, yes. Did you ever find her? I, I searched and searched for her. Yes, yes, she was dead. She was long dead. There was, there was no doubt. And yet, I could sense her, my, my dear Virginia, that, that rare and radiant maiden that the angels had taken from me when she was way too young, far too young. But I, I sensed her presence. I, I knew she was still among us somewhere. And at, at night, I would hear her voice. I would hear her voice in the distance, a voice of, of chimes, of, of bells, like, like the tintinabulation of bells. I would hear the bells, 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 bells. Yes. And I looked for her. I searched, one, wishing once more to clasp that rare and radiant maiden. Oh, okay. I forgot I, I do it. <laughs> 
I searched and I found a bird, a stately raven of the saintly days of yore. And I asked him, dear raven, when again shall I clasp my dear Virginia to my bosom? And he stated but one word, Nevermore. Yeah. Edgar Allan Poe, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Through the shimmer of the river, you can see the lads of Harlem and the gulls among the salt pines. Along the FDR You can hear the heavy footsteps Of the overworked and weary Once upon a midnight dreary He was standing where you are He wandered through Manhattan Searching for his true beloved even though her worldly burden Long lay buried in the earth He sacrificed his scruples In an attempt to resurrect her In the fundamental rhythm Of death and birth Edgar Allan Poe Lived his last days in the Bronx. He lived his last days in the Bronx, but he died in Baltimore. He died in Baltimore. In Baltimore. He heard the raging fever bells of New York City When the loneliness and pity took him to the tavern floor And in a frail whisper He said, tell me pilgrim shadow Why do we aim for El Dorado Just to die in Baltimore Island Poe lived his last days in the Bronx. He lived his last days in the Bronx, but he died in Baltimore. He died in Baltimore. In Baltimore. And nobody could discover the seeds of his destruction whether alcohol or opium typhus or TB or maybe he got Shanghai on some street obscure and lonely haunted by dark angels only down to the sounding sea Allen Poe lived his last days in the Bronx. He lived his last days in the Bronx, but he died in Baltimore. He died in Baltimore. In Thank you all. We're going to do one more song. I want to thank you for being here with us tonight. Thanks to you who watch from home or wherever you're watching from tonight. There's some people watching from home. They watch everything from home. One time I remember I told my dad, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, we got Andy here. Oh, we're going to do, we got, okay. Come on up here, Andy.
I think he's doing Wait for coat. it. I think. Orange raincoat, I think. Well, hey, Ren. He hello there, Wendy. Hey, Paul and Earl. Hello there. Are we doing orange raincoat? Yeah, we're doing orange raincoat. Is that the only one you have? This is Andy Kenyon here. We actually have two more songs to go. I almost forgot this one. Because Andy came all the way to play Mando Cello on this one. Which I sometimes call Mango Jello. It's Mando Toy. It's a joke no one likes. I thought there was another bug. Oh, he's getting it. Here he is. He's coming. So it's like a big mandolin. Uh, oh Here's Gail yeah. Taylor. Okay, let's do it. Okay. Go. Born and raised in Elizabeth town Inside a song of Kentucky High school dropout skating around I can't help it if I'm unlucky Unopen envelopes and magazines, pajamas, plaid, and flannel, a tennis zenith, black and white, only gets one channel. And I'm an orange raincoat walking when the rain starts coming down. I'm an orange raincoat walking. A blue umbrella town Bored to tears in Elizabeth town Enduring dark days undaunted I got nothing to do but circle around All the places we once haunted You with your patchouli and pepper spray Going on your audition You every blue Kentucky day all your superstition I'm an orange raincoat walking when the rain starts coming down I'm an orange raincoat walking through a blue umbrella town Blue frisbee stuck up on the roof Blue pinto part on the lawn and Every night I search for food but Every night you're still so gone, gone, gone Every night you're still so gone and All around old E-Town I See umbrellas torn and tattered 
All the things that used to make you cry Way back when our world still mattered We used to cross the Rubicon When it ran through Kentucky But ever since you've been so gone I haven't felt so lucky I'm an orange raincoat walking when the rain starts coming down. I'm an orange raincoat walking through a blue umbrella town. I'm an orange raincoat walking when the rain starts coming down. I'm an orange raincoat walking through a blue umbrella town. Yeah, it's Andy Kenyon on Mango Cello. We got one more song. Come on up here, Jeff. We're going to do a song for the next holiday after Thanksgiving. Andy Kenyon. Thank you for coming here and hanging with us. Thanks to April Hava Shankman and my uncle Chickster. I just want to make sure everyone understands that. Chickster was invited to be part of the show. He almost got thrown out there. Did you see that? He had security on him and everything. It was getting exciting. Because he's a method actor, that's why. Thank you for doing that. This is called Thanksgiving. You guys ready? <laughs> There's a man named Morris There is a house on rare There is a television going Reruns are flowing in and out Oh, the Morris is here There is a mind like a matter There is a major mahjong game All the ladies talk to one He covers up his ears Dogs as they do the same Happy man, and every night is Thanksgiving. I said, Every night is Thanksgiving. And Morris, he is a thankful man. He gives his thanks whenever he can for the microwave of a Chevy van. Time up for a trip to the Yucatan. Thanks for this New Jersey home. On the table, the cars to drive. Little wife stays by his side. Making him happy just to be alive. Ain't no place on earth to match the standard of living. When he gets home, every night is Thanksgiving. I said, Every night, every night is Thanksgiving. Yeah. in Piscataway He met the little woman at Barely Dickinson They married on graduation day And now Morris is a CPA Helps other people give their money away to the IRS or the CIA 
Thank you very much. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, Kulaks. See you next time. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. Remember to vote. Thank you for bringing this. Vote many times.